yes my people hey <laughs> hey well you're welcome to inspiration gist with dora yes today i have brought an interesting story for us <laughs> i have brought very interesting story for us you know i told you on this channel we talk about issues that affect us as human beings issues that affect us in the society and since what is trending now is about marriage and marriage breaking up and snatching husband and husband leaving wife i have brought another story okay for us to look at i want us to look at this story together please just calm down i know that you don't like long videos but there's no way i can help this matter other than to make it even i'm trying to make it short by retelling the story instead of playing the whole video for you so just calm down with me mm, my gist partner and follow me to the end of this video and please put your advice like i told you your advice helps it helps a lot whatever be your opinion whatever be your your best you know advice you can drop on this matter please do it at the end of this video in the comment section all right so what happened is that i came across the story of um a couple that went to court it was actually the husband that brought the matter to the court and was asking the court to do what guess <laughs> get what he was asking the court to do to let his wife come back <laughs> we are hoping that very soon you Doche will ask me to come back so yes he asked that the court should allow the um the wife should instruct the wife or something like that to come back to him and now the judge asked what actually happened so it happens that um let, let's the background of the matter is that they have been married for like four years or thereabouts now or thereabouts and they have two kids so as at the time the matter was brought to the court um the son was staying with the father and the girl with the mother so it went this way the the man the story went this way that my honor hmm, that's the story i seen at the background my honor uh, i woke up one morning with my wife and we went out together because she was to attend an interview a job interview so we went out together that morning i dropped her at the place she continued to go to the interview venue and i i con continued to my office and as a very busy person the way my job entails i don't usually um take calls while in the office so i i went i was very busy um i did not actually had the opportunity to you know pick my calls and check out on her but when i saw my uh, sister-in-law calling me i had to come out because i don't usually take calls when I, while at work i had to come out to pick the call and, and find out what it was he said that my wife was um rushed to the now my wife is not feeling fine that she was rushed to the hospital or oh, initially in fact that uh my dear can i come to your house this evening to speak with your wife i learned that she has not been feeling fine till i was my wife is not is not uh sick i dropped her this morning said, no there are a lot of things that will you allow me to come to the house this morning so we can uh, this evening so i can talk to her and all that i said okay no problem then later on he had the call again got a call from the same person again i said that your wife has been rushed to the hospital in fact that she, as they were rushing them to the hospital that she fainted it was like ah, ah, wow so to cut the long story short at the end of work the young man rushed to the in-laws place they all stay in lagos here around Aja, according to him so they all rushed he, he rushed there to um, see the wife and when he got there he was surprised while um they started asking him questions why didn't you take care of your wife she has been sick we rushed her to the hospital he was at the hospital uh reception that she even fainted he said okay where's my wife which hospital he's like ah, your wife is somewhere ah, but like which hospital can i go and see um her the mother-in-law said no that she's somewhere later on it was the sister-in-law that told him that they in one prayer place like that not um actually hospital it's a prayer place please i want you to be taking note of certain things okay certain practices you know that we are used to in this part of the country or um believe that actually go a long way to be a factor in destroying our marriage okay so just pay attention now i said that in a prayer please somebody that they said you are sick now she is in a prayer place so they can i see my wife she said no you cannot see her come back tomorrow actually when you come back tomorrow you will see her so 
The young man did not see his wife that evening. He went home. And when he went home, the, the following morning he went back there. And when he went there, he was told that, no, you cannot see her. Go and come back. When you, are, when you come back from the office, you will see her. She was like, ah. Well, he didn't want to argue with the mother-in-law. According to him, they have never been in good terms. So he just left. But as he was going, one spirit just, his spirit just told him that, no, you cannot leave your wife like that. As in, you want to go to the office and you leave your wife. Without even knowing where she is, without, without even seeing her, no, 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 you're not going to do that. So he, you know, called the sister-in-law again and said, no, I want, he insisted that he wanted to see his wife. So at the end of the day, the sister-in-law took him to the place and he saw the wife. And surprisingly, when he got there, it was not actually a prayer place. It was herbalist. Of course, I'm herbalist. <clears throat> the mom was like, ah. Since when? Because according to him, they are winners, okay? They are 10 winners. And so they believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as a Lord and personal Savior to petition. They are born again Christians, so a practicing Christian. He said that his faith you know, does not accept this. What's my wife doing there? And the woman said, hey, what has been happening to her? He's spiritual. She has having, having, having spiritual attack and all that. I was like, if it were um, anything spiritual, that he, he knows that he can... They can handle it even as Christians. They go about you know, conducting deliverance for people. What, uh, how come now during his own time that God will not do it? But they refused. And even the wife also insisted that he wants to get help from there. So at the end of the day, he, he left them there and reluctantly dropped money for her to be taken care of. And he left. So according to, the, according to him, um, as time went on, he was not, con he was not actually, you know, um, convinced that um, that the place he was staying was okay for him he was safe they built a house in in uh, sango Ota, in Ota. yes they built a house in sango and the wife has insisted that they don't want to move to sango because sango is a village and all that but as all these things were going on as on, on the second thought and all that he wanted to leave that environment so he had to move to Ota. And also the, also, the house rent was getting expensive, so he had to move to Otter. Now, they told him that the wife will, um, will be okay like in two weeks. So after two weeks, he went back. The woman was like, no, uh, I cannot come back home except you relocate to find a house. You, you know, we are a young couple and see how much we are paying at house rent here. We pay... 600 uh, according to him 650,000 naira as at then that was last year like okay 650,000 naira for house rent and you want me to continue paying where we have a house our own house comfortable house at sango what kind of wife now even he promised the woman that i'm going to give you that um was going to give us 650,000 to start a business around there so that it will be better for them. The woman insisted, no, that she wants to stay close to her family because the family stays around there. The mother, the mother that quickly took her to Habalis, wanted to uh, stay close to her family. That he, the man must come and rent an apartment around there before she can go back home. My people, that's how these people stayed apart so for months. Now, when school resumed, an issue. Uh, this boy needs to continue school. You are still at the harbor list with your mother going to the harbor list. At the end of the day, he called, he took the son. It's like the baby girl, is the, the second child is still very small. Uh, so he took the child, he took the son and had to so that he will resume school. The young man has stayed though, stayed and stayed though and he did, he did not, um, the woman did not come back. She was insisting. And then the man said this thing happened around August 2021 or something like that. Can you imagine? She stayed away from the husband. That's some women said. And then, and this, if you, see, you see this young man now. You can see him at the background. You can see him. That's the young man. So that was how the woman stayed away. And this man doesn't know what to do again than to bring the matter to court. Hmm. So he brought the matter to court. Now, there's something that happened in the court that actually made me to think that this video is worth bringing here, this story. When they were the, 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 the judge saw that this couple are young and the man kept saying, I love my wife, I want her to come back home. So the judge saw that ah, this couple, they are young, this marriage is not supposed to break. So 
he provided a solution to the, that problem. Because the woman was insisting that this man, you need to get an accommodation and come back to Lagos. I'm not going to go to Ota with you. Hmm? So that, that she's now working. Yes, she said she got a job that she's now working with a pharmacy store somewhere around there. I know if you were to give her that kind of money, if she's a pharmacist or someone in that direction, would it not be enough for her even to add another, uh, add some money, more money to it and open a, 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 uh, a pharmacy shop around there too? But then let's go on with our story. That's left for them. Now, the, the judge, like I said, what uh, actually made the story for me to find it worthy to bring here is that the judge, the solution he preferred, he preferred, he said, I'm going to take you people to, I'm going to refer you people to marriage counselors. Yes, you're going to attend um, marriage counseling sessions uh, with counselors. The man was like, ah, we've, when this matter started, I spoke with my um, spiritual fathers, uh, my spiritual directors, and they have spoken they have talked and this woman the woman said no the judge said no you see that's where you people make a mistake according to the judge that there are some people that are trained as marriage counselors they are trained this is their profession to counsel you as marriage counselors so i'm going to recommend that they are not imam nor pastors nor anything they are married trained professionally religion aside wow i said wow Okay, so I'm going to recommend that you people go and attend this session four times, and after that session, you will we shall see. By then, we shall see. So, reluctantly, the wife, in fact, that woman, if you if you can see her, if you hear what she, but reluctantly, she agreed and they they left. Okay. They went for the counselor, yeah, and that was yeah the um the clip ended. But the report, the um epilogue said that um at the end of the counseling session, the couple reunited, and today they are living happily ever after. Wow! <laughs> See, I just had to retell the story because if I were to play the video for you. It will take like 20 something minutes. So this is just what happened. Now there is something again. So I just like, uh, uh, some women know, not my own even, some women know, how come this young man, you know, even waited for a young man, or you can see the man, or you can see the man, at the, you can see the young man. Look at the young man. Mm -hmm. Look at him in the video. A young man and all this while he was waiting for you. For this man to go to court, don't you people think that he has exploited every other um, avenue like the, getting the pastors to talk to them, getting to talk to the lady, getting the getting the family to speak with the lady and she remained adamant for him to go to court. And when the, the judge asked, what do you want? Now you brought the matter to court, what do you want from the court? He said, I love my wife, I still love my family. Can you imagine? This that lady, she's not so lucky. I love my wife, I still love my family. I just want my wife to come back home. Hey, God. And the woman was like, well, I'm not saying that we're not going to get back together. It's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that I don't want this marriage again. What I'm saying is that he has to get an accommodation. He was insisting. My dear, as in a this court situation, Mm -hmm. In Nigeria, this is a cost situation, this economic situation in Nigeria. You have a house, and then he's not saying that every day you go to work from there. He's saying that he's going to get something for you to start so that you people will save this house rent. Like every year you pay, that was then 650 by now. Even if it is um, 500,000 you pay, how much does he earn? How, so many people in this Lagos, in this part of the country, what they do with their money is to pay house rent, transportation, and school fees. That's all. House rent, transportation, and school fees. People don't have savings. And you see a young man at this age, look at him, he already has a house. And I insist him because you want to stay close to your family so that they will keep advising you. <laughs> so my people, that's her own side. Now... Because just take note and you know, put your keep your advice in the comment section. Now there is this other thing. There is the one statement that the lady made in the court. 
was one statement she made okay that also caught my fancy she said uh, when the magist the judge was asking the man um so the woman was claiming that the man did not take care of him, that he abandoned him, practically doesn't take care of him. That's what the sisters, the family was complaining, that you don't take care of our daughter. That's why they took her to take care of her. And so when the woman, the woman was like, ah, when she was not sick, I dropped her. Okay, so the woman said that she has been sick, that she has been complaining to the man that he does, she's not uh, feeling fine. But the man is too busy to even look at her men that are busy always busy leave the house in the morning come back in the night and you're tired of course so if the woman is complaining that i have headache that one will seem as if he she's disturbing your peace as in i just came back home to to rest and you are just telling me you have headache you say oh, my stomach has been paining oh you are tired you think that she's she she doesn't understand you think that she's not cooperating Okay, so this lady said that when she um she was having she was having these symptoms and she has headaches, she was feeling somehow when she tells the man, the man will be like, ah, oh, sorry, that's all. So she was expecting, even the man will not even ask her later on, ah, how do you feel? How are you? No, no, no. The man did not care. So that's how she continued feeling like that, you know. And that for her, it means that the man doesn't care about her help, her health. It's not taking care of her so that was her own point in fact that was actually her annoyance that's actually the main reason the parents or her people took her to take care of her and for them if someone wants to take care of you the person will take care of you with what he or she knows how to use so the mother is someone that is used to going to herbalist all right that is where she goes when she has problem so when the daughter has problem according to her had to take the daughter to where she knows see so that one is another area where she knows but you the husband the man is is a child of god he's a man of faith was like no i know that if it is a spiritual matter god can do it you know but you are not available you're not available she has been complaining i don't even think that that matter may be that the stress is too much because there's so much stress in for women in the family now so much stress that may cause um bp or something like kind of body changes you know stress stress and when people you know when you are just are just stressed up when they go to the hospital they may not see anything you may not actually see anything because your whole body is stressed it's only very good hospitals that will know that ah my dear this is not malaria this is not typhoid you just need rest but a lot will not know so she must have gone somewhere and they told her there's nothing wrong with you but she's not feeling okay and then so they had to recommend uh, um spiritual uh, direct solution to her problem so what i'm bringing out here now you see this man where he failed it's a very loving husband as you can see he was insisting that i want my wife in spite of all those things that the woman went ahead and did this one he does not even care okay so i want my wife back so you love your wife very well and in your heart of heart, like sincerely, you love your wife. But you don't have time because you are making money. And that money you are making is to take care of her. It's for her. So that you buy her, give them the best in life and all that. Yes. But there's this thing with women. Oh. This thing with women, like, we will have all the money. But if you don't have time to look at their face, because the lady said, ah, he doesn't even have time to look at my face to know how I'm feeling. I was like, ha ha! Wow, I can see some people like the same category. <laughs> so, he doesn't even have her time to look at her face to see how she's feeling. That's why. So she was like, so I was like, you see, when you have women, what they actually like for so you to look at their face. Hmm, this one, your face is like this today. Ah, oh, nah, uh -uh. Why are you not smiling? What happened? It's, that you may not have money, but once you always like care like this, okay, especially if she has a new hairdo. Oh, so hmm. what I'm trying to say is that you know, I never knew that there are people who are trained professionally to be marriage counselors other than pastors and all these imams and all that i never knew so i'm bringing it to you in case you too you don't know you are not aware sometimes it's good to go to people 
that are professionals in what they do. I'm not saying that pastors and the imams and all that, they will counsel you according to your faith. That's true. But these people will not like with issues of life, okay? Yes, it's good. So you can add that. I'm not ruling out the issue of um, your pastor being your marriage counselor. But you see, these people depend on what they believe in, okay? They also depend on what they believe in, all right? So that is the matter of a young man like that that is so, 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 so uh, passionately in love with the wife. And the wife is doing chakara for him. He's doing shakara for him. <laughs> I'm going to rent an apartment before I come back home and all that. Oh my god. <sighs> but thank God at the end of the day, they are right right now they are reunited. They are living in peace. Okay. All the differences have been settled. All the interferences from the in-laws and all that have been settled. So, like I said, the genesis of the matter was actually that the husband does not look at her face like my I'm doing like this. You need to ask me out is the problem. I ah, this one you are funny. What is it? Okay, so that is all women want. <laughs> I always look at our face. So you see that marriage almost um was almost ruined just because the husband is too busy making money as in the guy said money is not the problem. You know, he's making money, but he forgot that women. Now, nah, that's why you see some women, you will be wondering how come the husband is so rich and all that, and they are still going after driver. They are still going after one a poor guy out there. Because that's the person that will say, hey, uh -huh. oh, this one that your face is like this, there was a problem now, you know. But you, you are busy. They should understand that I'm busy in the office. You should understand that I'm very busy at work and all that. Well, I'm not saying that you should not be busy at work. But as you are busy, remember that time is going. Remember your family, especially remember your wife, okay? So that that's money. When you make that money, the person that will actually make you happy, so that both of you enjoy the money, will not be a problem to turn in your flesh, all right? So... Leave your comments, your comments in the comment section. What do you think about this matter of husbands being too busy not to even take care of uh, look at their wives because they are making money? And also another point there is families intervening, interfering in issues. If they have sought the husband's permission before taking the, the lady to the hospital, they would not have because he wouldn't have given his consent, all right? But they just thought that they can you know, take care of their daughter so are they not you know um try trespassing are they not going beyond their boundaries okay because once you're married the first the next um for me your next of kin number one person that should be consulted over your matter should be your husband or your wife that's my own understanding i don't know so you not consult the husband you rushed well if you ask them they may say it's a matter of life that she was actually dying well okay because the lady said when she was brought there the woman said that she was almost dying yeah i think maybe she had bp her bp was high out of stress but everything in nigeria is spiritual that is that is also everything in nigeria is a spiritual all right so thank god their marriage was saved by the marriage counselors please 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 if you haven't subscribed to this channel i hope to now and you've been watching me you are still with me up till now means we are partners now we are partners in gist so just click on that that subscribe button you are looking at just click on it yes thank you you are now a subscriber anytime i'm ready for another gist you will be informed all right thank you so much my returning subscribers i thank you so much the support you have given this channel in the very very short time is awesome and i really appreciate you i really appreciate it those of you who leave your comments always do that i appreciate your comment whether it is um contradicts my own opinion and all that just hate like that okay all right we are still to me we just that today we wanted to talk about something else we are still to me that's why you are seeing me there in our caption we are still to me and we expect that very soon me will smile uh yoli doche will return to his 100% to his senses and this marriage will be a testimony. Thank you so much. I love you so much. Bye.